as you can see things have moved on quite a bit so in this video I'll show you the demolition of the sheds and then I'll also show you how I got to this stage with the grass I'm pretty happy with it one of the reasons for getting rid of the sheds was to um, give this uh, house a bit more light and space and a little lawn for the kids to play on so we've got that there I think it's turned out you know even better than I could have imagined yeah, look at it there how's the serenity The work took about eight days, including removing some large tree stumps, concrete, and lots of stag beetle larvae, which we relocated. We kept some of the tiles, including the ornamentation at the end of the roof ridges, called onigawara. I wanted to keep the beams to make something out of them later, but they had been damaged by wood boring beetles. I managed to keep some wood and the siding panels from the main shed. We got a lot of quotes for demolition companies. This one was the cheapest at around 12,000 US dollars, including tax, and that was mostly taken up by the cost of recycling the rubble which is expensive in Japan. Plus they also paid us for the metal. So we went from this in August to this in October. After the demolition was finished, we got heavy rain for a few days.
So now all of the sheds are gone, I've got to turn all of this into a lawn and pretty quickly because we're going to be heading into winter in the near future. My boys helped me out, well a little bit. I cleared the remaining trees and branches mostly with a reciprocating saw. Some will go to mulch, others to firewood. I found the ground where the large shed was sloping slightly towards the house so I needed to make it slope away in order for the rainfall to flow away from the house. One of the problems was that there was a lot of gravel and broken tiles mixed in with the soil which had been used as a base for the shed. Digging was not much fun as the clayey soil was really compacted due to being compressed for decades below the concrete. I really should have hired a backhoe or bulldozer here. But on the plus side, my arms and shoulders are now as hard as rock. We got it done by the beginning of November. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. I mixed in compost from bags that we had filled back in February when we first started clearing the overgrowth. I wanted to plant grass seed before winter to give it a head start over the weeds in spring. Temperatures were about 15 to 20 degrees centigrade during the day, so it was going to be okay to plant. also got some looser soil to mix in and use as topsoil. That was a mistake as I went for the cheapest I could find, it wasn't very good quality. For those interested in this sort of thing, I planted Kentucky bluegrass with about 10% perennial ryegrass mixed in. I didn't go for a Japanese grass as they go dormant and brown over winter. I like my grass green. The weather stayed warm for most of November so the grass germinated okay, though a bit patchy in places. Hopefully in spring it'll take off. Where the large tree stump was, the ground has sunk a bit and pools water when it rains, so I'll need to re-level the lawn again next year. We cleaned up the small garden and found we had some nice camellias which bloomed right on cue. It's going to be very nice sitting on the tatami, looking out on the garden, drinking tea. <laughs> 